Hey there, and welcome to the 18th and final episode of the Chronicles of the USS Baleo. It's been a long time coming, and um, I was kind of expecting the last episode to be the last one, but uh, we picked up the time compression glitch, so that wasn't going to happen. Um, so it is currently the 13th of July, 1945. We have about a month until the end of the war, and we're probably not going to leave base for another two weeks yet. So we may not even get any action at all. Uh, that's just a heads up. Um, hopefully we'll find something uh, in time to sink it before the end of the war, but um, oh, it's going to be close. So, uh, let's have a look at our scores, which is probably going to say the same uh, if we don't find anything. So, we have uh, 2,190,318 tonnes, which I'm informed is more than the entire British fleet, which is pretty damn impressive. So, um, we have everything set up, we've got all the right crew members, we've got all the, uh, all the upgrades and all the torpedoes we did that last time. So, we're just going to go and uh, get out to sea. What are we doing over here? Singapore. Depart on July 29th, 1945. So, uh, we're going to be departing right at the end of the war, basically. Right, so we're, de uh, we're uh, transporting an agent of, uh, of friendly intelligence. So have to drop him off at Singapore. I could swarm we've done that before, but alright, we'll do it. We'll see if we've got any time left to do it uh, by the time we get there. So let's go. Right, here we are, back on board again for the final time. We are going to go two thirds ahead. We're going to set a course, like so, turn to it, and we're going to Singapore. So, uh, oh, where is Singapore? Right there. Well, um, you may as well go past Christmas Island, go up through Merak and sink some stuff there because uh, we haven't got that much time left so we'll get some destroyer action there, we'll sink some stuff in Merak and then we'll go up and drop this guy uh, near Singapore then if we've got any uh, torpedoes left we'll, we'll smash up a whole load of stuff over in these ports over here and um, that depends if, if we've got time left or not so we will see and hopefully the time impression glitch uh, only happens for one episode we'll see yeah that's fine okay good right in that case we're gonna get onwards and um i will hopefully see you and we've got something to sink not at the end of the war so um yeah let's go okay we are at merak almost uh, we are submerged with the periscope up because we have uh, that land unit here of course and I don't want to get shot by that again our battery is quite low because we've been getting planes jumping on us every two seconds just like that which has been very irritating but there's not a lot I can do about it we do have I have a warship sounding right over there can't see him yet there he is right so now the question is where is it going I'm going to adjust course over like this. I'm going to put down his rough course. Something like that. And a rough range from there. Right. Oh, that's actually quite good. Okay, let's go down to one third and see what that guy's doing. Ah, okay. He's not going that way. No, he's just circling around over there. Okay, well, let's get closer then. We don't need these then. They can go away. And let's just get closer. And where's he going? Going across towards Marak. Turning back. Going around behind me. He's parallel with me. I really don't know what he's doing. Where's he going? Is he going to come straight towards me here? No. How far away are we? 4,000 yards. Alright, let's turn towards him and in turn towards Merak. Let's see what he's going to do. Here we go, he spotted us. Right. Okay, stop. Let's take a look, see. There he is. Now what is that? I don't know. That looks like a fairly big ship in the, in the background though. Uh, mer no, not merchant. He's not a merchant. He's a warship. 
Uh, he is a destroyer, but what kind of destroyer? He's not a Shiratsu, because he doesn't have that box on him. Uh, he could be a mini... no, he's not a... I don't think he's a mini Uh I uh, let's see if he rather. Uh, he could be a Fubuki. No, where's that one? He's a mini because he's got those things on his, uh, on his scope. Right. Range. There. Get that thing out of the way. Angle. Cut towards me, but I don't know how far. Set the position keeper. Let's say he's going 14. That seems to be a fairly good speed. Open up tube 6. Right, that looks fairly good, except that I've got his angle wrong. So that's fine. Let's put his angle over here. And... we do this. That speed looks pretty good, actually. Let's reset his range, so he's going to be coming... I mean, not range, um, angle, so he's coming straight at me. And I think I'll put one, I'll put it as far out there. I'm feeling lucky. Not much luck involved with that one. That's pretty damn good. Right in the midships. And that looked painful. I don't see any lifeboats, but he's... Oh, he's rolling over. There she blows, Captain. Over she rolls and she is destroyed. It's got a nice paint job on it, though. I'll give it that. But, um... Yeah, I'm just going to roll back over again. It would not be funny if she rolled back over and shot me. That would be very lame. But there we go. One destroyed whatever it is. Mini cars, yeah, I thought it was, wasn't it, I think. Oh, Mitsuki. Okay, just check. Was it a Mini Kaze? Yeah, I had to put it in as a Mini Kaze, but it was a Mitsuki. Oh well, that's fine. Uh, our battery is really, really low. Um... I don't know what kind of ships those are off in the distance. That does look fairly large, though. There's at least two over there. And I'm pretty sure that there's a land unit somewhere that will shoot at me if I come to the surface. Where's that island? It's over here somewhere. Or is it? Hmm. I guess not. That's the place where the harbour is. That's the ship right there. Um... Let's see what happens if I come to the surface. Because yes, the battery is just surface way too low to get in there yes, and back sir. again. And surface... Ooh! Explosion. I've got a radar contact. That doesn't necessarily mean anything. Got any... Nope, no planes. I'm not being shot at, apparently. We've got... A couple of merchants. And a couple of gunboats. Now those gunboats could shoot at me. Uh, they're in range, just about. But, um... I think we might be alright. Let's look at these, because they're slightly more powerful. Now that's the gunboat right there, or a gunboat. That is... Can't really tell. Where's that big one? Oh, there's another one over there as well. Uh, that... Hmm. Let's have a look-see. Into merchants. I think that's got to be a large. Uh, it's not a tanker. No, no. Large old split? No. No. Not a European. Okay, it must be a medium then. No. Medium or composite. That's possible. Ah, that looks more likely though. Medium old split. 
yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's where it is. Okay, behind that, I really don't know, but it could be another one. And this one, I really don't think it's one of these. No, it's not. Um, could be a medium old composite. No. The funnel's all wrong. Medium modern split? No. Uh, I don't think it's a large. Medium comp... No. The master all wrong. Uh, it could be a large old split. It looks similar to that, so I'm going to mark that in as a, me as a, uh, as a large old split. That's a gunboat, and there's another one somewhere else. And that over there, I really don't know, but it looks fairly sizable. Either way, I'm going to get rid of that, take off the spread. So I did put a slight spread on that last shot. And we're going to wait a bit to get the, uh, the battery up. We're not under attack, so we should be okay. So I'm going to um, take a short break to uh, replenish my batteries, and then we'll go inside and sort what these things really are. Yeah, there's one over there. Okay, let's just wait, shall we? Okay, um, I'm just dodging planes here, but um, we've got half battery, and that should be enough. So, uh, we're going to go over here first, and have a go at this guy. So, let's speed up time a little bit. We're going one third to, preser to preserve uh, energy. Don't see any aircraft coming to bomb us, so it should be good. Now then, oh, no, now I see an aircraft coming to bomb us. This could be interesting. There's two aircraft, actually. Oh, here they come. They missed by a mile. Yeah, not even remotely close, guys. Right, what have we got here? Um, what did I have that put in as large old split? It could be. It could well be. Don't know. Why is that other one? Right over there. That's a European. That's a European right there. That one. I think it probably is what I thought it was. And those are the only ones here. So, um, this is a bad angle to shoot at that guy. So, in fact what I'm going to do, I'm going to go like that. I'm going to go in and then we're going to shoot him with the aft torpedo tubes as we turn around. Uh, there's a plane coming in. He's nowhere near me though. He's dropped a bomb, but it's nowhere near me. Not even remotely close. So, we're going to continue. Keep going, keep going, keep going, and hopefully we won't hit the wall. We are quite close to... Uh, oh, we've got six feet under keel. Yeah. Alright, uh, let's stop. We'll just keep turning a little bit as we slow down. There we go, we're at a stop now. Good, now then out to the rear of the ship well, of the boat we've got another plane but he's miles away as well don't have to worry about him now that hmm, I'm pretty sure it's not what I thought it was it's probably a medium of some description but that's fine we don't really need to know what it is uh, right, set a range there an angle there and a speed of zero because we don't really need to know what it is because we can just make sure we hit it anyway, it's not going anywhere so we can just you know, shoot it like this yeah it's definitely not a large old split freighter I don't know what it is, but it's definitely not a large old split freighter away goes the torpedo and hasn't got far to go so we'll watch it the entire way I think there's the boat torpedo is away speeding through the water on course to hit this thing. There it is. Let's see how much damage we do. Quite a lot. Oh, we did critical damage. Fantastic. That I like. Those seagulls actually look really good. 
Anyway, that ship is sunk and dead, and I don't know what it was, but I will soon find out. It was a... oh, small old split freighter. So it was a split freighter. I was partly right. I just had the size wrong. That's fine. And I've been uh, having this guy try to torpedo me again, which is fun. Uh, let's go here, and we will torpedo out the rear at this one, and out the front at the other one. There we go, turn around. Got another aircraft coming around. But they're not going to do anything, apparently. Looks like they're trying to bomb me, but they just don't know where to shoot. Spot a ship. Oh, hello. Is that a sandpan or is that a gunboat? It's over here somewhere. It's a sandpan. Alright. Nothing to worry about. Okay. So we're not going to worry about him at all. And we're going to just stop here. Because we've reached the end of our course anyway. Right. Okay. And tube 10 is reloaded, which is helpful. Now where's... Right, that one. Uh, yes, yeah, definitely a European. Not a great angle for it, but not a bad angle either, really. This one... I think that could be... my large. But, um, I don't know. We'll find out. First things first is we've got to shoot it. There we go. Ah, a medium we thought that was. Okay. Well, let's open up tube 10 and fire right there. Let's watch it go. There's the open tube. Here goes the torpedo through the hull. Moving up into the water at a steady, I think that's seven feet cruising rad depth. Not range, it's depth. And uh, yeah, it's away. Should be switching to contact camera fairly soon though. There we go. There is whatever this ship is. I'm going to hit it pretty much just after uh, centre, which is why I like to hit them. And it's going to need another one, so it may well be a large. Is it going to... I think it's going down a little bit, but I don't think it's going all the way down. No, it's going to stay right there. So, let's open up tube 8. Just check our angle. No, we'll put this one at the front because we hit the other one at the back. So there goes the torpedo. Out to the aft of the submarine. And it looks like it's got like dents and things in the uh, in the warhead, but I'm sure they're there for uh, targeting purposes. Or it could just be some shoddy texturing, but you know the rest of the game looks pretty uh, pretty nice, so I would uh, not think it was supposed to be shoddy texturing. Oh, we're not going to get contact camera. I'm going to go quickly switch to that. There we go. So we hit it. It's badly on fire in three places. And it's destroyed. Good. Now was that a large? No, that was a medium. Okay, that's fine. So that's a medium and it's dead. And this is a medium and it's not dead but this we definitely know we've got the correct identification for so it's got that uh, very distinctive front mast so open up tube 6 and hopefully we can do this in one torpedo but I don't know right um, be very careful I don't hit the dock I think there will do it get rid of that thing torpedoes away Oh, I'm very concerned that this is going to hit the dock. That's not the one I want to be looking at. This is what I want to be looking at. Oh, that's going to be so close. Oh, it's going to hit the fucking wall. That's why I angled it over there. It just didn't go that way enough. Alright. Open tube 5. Fire it there. Comes and I still don't think it's that way enough. I think it's just going to miss the wall. Yeah, I just missed it that time. And hopefully it doesn't one torpedo. I don't want to fire a third one. Ah, yeah, there we go. That's good. Yeah, so that one's destroyed as well. Very nice. It's got a big gun on the back there too. 
But um, yeah, that's a useless camera angle. So um, yeah, right. What we're going to do is we're going to turn around. We're going to go one third reverse and left. There we go. That looks good. I'm going to switch switch to right and forward. Is that Sampan just docking? No, he's just turning around. Right and forward. There we go. We may even hit the sand pan on the way out. Who knows? We've got a merchant moving away. He's miles away. Very well. We'll see. Oh, he's actually going over that way. We're not going that way. So, um, yeah, he can be about his business. Now then, we can keep going a little bit further. Yeah, we're safe here. Right. Surface. And we need to put down a course because we don't have one. Go up here. Return to course. We are going to Singapore. So let's go up here, through here, here, and let's go in via this way because that, that way we may have some uh, small stuff to sink on the way in. We'll go over here, drop this guy off, and this is the same place we dropped him off before. I know we've done this one before. And then we're going to come back and visit Singapore because, you know, we can. And uh, that will probably take us right up to the end of the war. It's now the 4th of August. Um, have, well, it's the night of the 4th of August, unless it's... No, it's not past midnight, so... Um, yeah, they're going to be dropping the atomic bomb. Um, where is it? Hiroshima. Here it is. They'll be dropping the, uh, the first atomic bomb on Hiroshima on the 6th of August. So, in a day and a bit. It'll be somewhere in this area here. It's not actually st uh, simulated in game or I would have gone up there to to see it. Um, unfortunately we're not going to get to see that. And where was, where's Nagasaki? Nagasaki, Nagasaki, Nagasaki. I don't know. I'm not that good at Japanese geography. Um, in fact, I, I didn't even do geography at school. I would have failed it but I didn't even go in for the exam. Um, where is it? Don't know. I've got a feeling it's down here somewhere, but I don't know where. Anyway, Nagasaki will be on the 9th of August. So, let's go ahead and get to Singapore while we still have a Singapore to get to. Okay, uh, it is August the 6th, 1945. The atom bomb has not yet dropped. It is no, uh, 5 past 9 in the morning, or 6 minutes past 9 in the morning. Uh, we're still on our way to Singapore, but we have got a task force here of what appears to be three destroyers. They could, of course, be um, a sub-chaser in there, but I don't know. And um, I said last episode I would try to do a double sinking. Well, if I can do a triple sinking, that would be even more impressive. So, let's see if I can do that. So let's go up to full speed. I'm going to put down a range of three and a half thousand ish because that seems far more reasonable um, oh shit we've got a plane right there didn't see him that wasn't great where the hell did he go disappeared what's that that's another plane okay well are these guys still carrying on they are let's uh, redo their range and this for them. In fact, I really should be going more out this way for them. Because otherwise I'll miss them or end up in a bad position. So let's do that. Go back there. And we've also got a plane right here. But we'll try to just duck under him. Right there. There we go. And surface again. No. Back down. Now the question is, yep, they are closing. Are they coming towards me, or how far away are they? Ten miles. We can safely surface at ten miles away. Yes, I need a proper sonar contact, please. Oh, no, they're coming straight towards me. Okay, well, that's not going to work out great for me. 
Um, okay. I'm still on the surface, why can't I see them? They're over here somewhere. Alright, well, I don't see them. But, um, we have got contact right here. There's one right there. One there, and one disappearing off over there somewhere. That's interesting. Let's uh, go ahead and get a periscope depth. I don't really want to engage these guys unless I absolutely have to now. Um, if I could get all three of them going out of line, yes, but those planes ruined it for me. So I don't really want to engage these guys anymore. Let's see what they are, I guess. Let's go into periscope depth and put the scope up. And wait for it to get closer. Well, not that close. Bloody hell. Right. What is it? Forward. Well, that's definitely a destroyer. Lock it. Don't know what kind of destroyer, but we'll see. Uh, it's not a Shiratsu. Could be a Mitsuki. No, I think it's wide enough to be a Mitsuki. Minikaze? I'm going to go with Minikaze. Right, range. About there. Angle. Rapidly turning. <laughs> yeah. Let's go with 14. That worked well for me last time. Let's see what we've got. Oh yeah, he's definitely a Minikaze. Alright. Uh, Angle straight towards me. Reset. And... Yep. Alright. That looks pretty good. Put him closer than that though. He's too far away. He's definitely coming faster than that too. That's fine. Is he slowing down? Yeah, he is. He's slowing down to slower than 14. Because he's, my, uh, my targeting thing is actually catching up. I reckon I'll put it... I haven't actually opened the tube yet, that would help. Put it right there. Fire it there. Oh, that was terrible. That was really not good. Okay, let's flank forward and left. Never know, it might hit the guy behind him. <laughs> right. Where's he going now? In fact, he can't actually turn to get around me quick enough. So, let's open up an, a rear tube get a new bearing on him. There. Angle. That there. Speed fast. Let's say 33. Uh, he's turning away again. Don't know where the hell those guys are. The chance of that torpedo hitting one of them is one million. Right. Where's he going? Do not know. Let's put the uh, thing back to straight. Where are the other ones? Don't know. Don't know where he's going. He's just disappearing off. That's very odd. He's coming back for me now, I think. Yep, looks like it. I don't know where those other ones are. That's him. Don't do that, mouse. Uh, oh, there's one. What is that? Yeah, that's uh, that's another destroyer. Mouse, stop it. No, not the same one. Or is it? Mouse, stop. Right. Maybe it is the same one. Yeah, it is. He's off the rear. Alright. Let's get a new range right there. Angle coming towards me. Mouse, stop being a pain in the ass. Seriously, this is the worst time for it. Uh, speed, oh, I don't know. I'll just leave it as is. Definitely not going that fast. Uh, is the tube open? Yes, it is. Let me go here. Speed, put it down at 14. Reset this. Hmm. 
As long as he doesn't turn towards me, that's not a bad shot, but I think he's going to. So I'm going to fire it right there. Yep, he's turning towards me. But, that could work out. That looks pretty good. It's going to be close. Slow down. Oh, is that going to get him right in the rear? Yes, it is. Right under the propellers. Fantastic. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> yeah, he's very dead. Yeah. That was a big explosion right there. And he's going straight down. From the rear, of course, but he's still going straight down. Okay, where are the other ones? Uh, over there. So, there should be... Somewhere over here, but I can't see them. Oh well. There's one of them. Nice panning, twisting shot of him there. I don't know how deep the water is. I think he may have just hit the, uh, the ocean bed. It does appear that he's rocking on it, so... I guess we'll see in a moment when we go underneath the water. If we go underneath the water. There we go. Yep, right on the seabed, right there. And he's down. Goodbye. Right. Well, um... I don't particularly want to engage any more destroyers if they're going to be like that one. So, let's uh, get the course marker. I'm going to go over here. Let's go one third ahead and see what happens. Got a plane right there. Tried to bomb me but failed. Oh, here they come. Hmm. Can I see them? I should be able to see them at that range. There's one. Where's the other one? There's the other one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they know where I am. Let's stop. And lock. And that's the uh, best view I can get of them. What was it? It was a Minikaze. And I was right then. Okay, well I'm going to put them... Oh, damn it, mouse! I'm going to put them all as Minikazes. And... Um, What's he doing? He's weaving, isn't he? Um, yeah, he's definitely weaving. Hmm. Let's see. Is he coming towards me or is he just going to weave? He's definitely coming towards me now. Okay. Um, this actually is not a good angle to be shooting from. Let's go one third and left. Just want to turn. There we go. That'll do. Straighten. Keep going one third. It's got a range. Give me the thing. Range. Angle. He is going to be coming towards me, so I'll leave it there. That speed works, so I will leave it at that. Okay. Uh, open up tube 8, because tube 10 is not ready. Right, and he's coming back this way. I'm going to fire... I'm going to put it there. Right, it's away. Oh, that's going to be so close. I think that's a miss though. Yeah, that's got to be a miss. Yeah, okay. Open up tube 9 quickly. Fire it there. That one looks much better. Let's get rid of this thing. Oh no! <laughs> it looked better, but it wasn't. Where's the other one? Don't know, miles away, that isn't going to hit it. Uh, right, turn right. Flank speed. Because he's going to come right over me. Yeah, he knows where I am now. This is going to be awkward. Straighten. Hmm. I could just launch one sort of depth charge style. Let's do it. Let's just leave one behind in the water. Oh, no, no. That didn't work at all. That was a bad idea. Never mind. Turn right. 
Where's the guy that's in front of me? I don't know, he's just following me around. Let's play a bit of cat and mouse, shall we? Let's go straight towards the other one. This will be interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Open that tube. I'll be amazed if this hits. I really will. It'll be funny. Yeah, it's turning. No, I fucked that way too soon. Let's open this one as well. Yeah, they know they're not going to run into each other. Let's stop here. Because they're not going to run into each other. Fire there. I know we're under attack, that's fine. Oh, 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 are you a complete idiot? Are you a complete idiot? You are. I was watching the wrong torpedo, but you are a complete idiot. Where is he? There! <laughs> he turned back into it. What a moron. Right, okay. That just leaves us one to deal with. Let's go emergency back and left. And let's see what he's going to do about that. Oh, damn it, I didn't mean left, I meant right. Fuck. Oh well. Oh, that gun's damaged. Okay, fair enough. Stop. Straighten. Stop. Where is he? He's in front of us somewhere. There he is. That's a sub chaser. Surface. This is going to be interesting. I know we're under attack. I want the high explosive rounds quickly. Oh, that hit us. Then we unit destroyed. Right, how much damage do we take? None! Except for, you know, that gun. That's fine. Yeah, that was a sub chaser. That guy there! Oh, he snapped in half. Okay, so there's sub chasers going down, but I've got to go take a look at this guy. Now that looks like two ships, but it isn't. It's the two halves of that destroyer that we got the lucky torpedo on. He split in half, and ended up in such a way that it looks like we've sunk two destroyers in one place, but we haven't. But that's actually really cool. Oh, and that's the uh, sub chaser going to the floor. Bye bye sub chaser. Right. That's really cool. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. And his lights are still flashing even though he's underwater. Oh well. Sweetness. He's probably going to stay like that forever now as well. Well, I mean, it's a despawn, so I've left the area, obviously. But, um, yeah. So how much damage did we take? Oh, our deck gun took, like, a scratch. We were injured people, though, of course. Yeah, when the deck gun gets in, it gets uh, damaged, people get injured. That's just how it works. Surface, turned to course. And uh, we're going off to Singapore. So, let's get rid of these things. And, uh, two-thirds, we're going onwards. Right, six o'clock, or 6.01. On August 6th, 1945, PAC News. Japan bombed by new US secret superweapon, Hiroshima in flames. And uh, 41 years to the day later, I was born. But, more importantly right now, Hiroshima has been bombed by the nuclear bomb. That was a uh, little boy dropped on Hiroshima right here. It's still on the map, nothing's changed, but... Um, Apparently it's in flames, it's been hit by the nuclear weapon, and um, yeah. So we have a few days left of the war, literally. We probably have just about enough time to complete our objective and get into Singapore and sink a few things, and then it's going to be over. So the end is nigh, as they say, and uh, we're going to get on and uh, confront it head on.